Well, hello there, pretty lady. Would you like to go out for a drink sometime? Honestly, I'd rather like a Geo dude. Oh, you think you're so good because you're so cute and marketable, huh? Huh? Well, I don't need you anyway. I will thunderbolt you. I will thunderbolt you so hard. All right then, buddy. Let's have a thunderbolt contest. You thunderbolt me, then I'll thunderbolt you right on back. How does that sound? Oh yeah, I'm up for that. You are in for a world of hurt, lady. <laughs> joke's on you, sucker. You got a two times weakness to electricity. No, joke's on you, lady. You don't actually know Thunderbolt. God damn. You know, for a lowly crime syndicate, they got some sweet ass tunes here. Hello guys, it's Tackhead9 here! In the last episode, we thumped Giovanni, we gave him a right good spanking we did, and now we're gonna collect his stuff! Tybalt found the Silk Scope! <laughs> Giovanni originally wanted the Silk Scope so he could find some really good stuff he could sew with, but alas, his uh, dyslexia got the best of him. Now then, we are going to exit this heinous place, <laughs> this anus place, and we are going to fight Erica and her cronies. Now, unfortunately, in order to do so, we need to be able to cut. And as you may or may not be aware, Chow Bella, the beedrill of no significance, was our cutter. So now we're gonna have to lump someone else with this stupid base power 60 move. Can you cut for me, lady? I rode a pill on cycling right from Fusia. <laughs> Would you like to cut? I'll cut you. Oh, that's close enough. If I can't get into the gym, I may as well end my miserable life. Okay, anyway. That's grim. Okay, Machem 1! That's right, Machem. That's what the H is short for. It's short for Mage, yes. Alright, who's gonna be able to cut? I hope it's... Joe Beavens! Forgot his name! Wait, why did I get the SS ticket? Oh, well. Shit, it's only pooped! Alright. What am I gonna get rid of? What am I gonna get rid of? Don't do razor leaf. Don't make that mistake again. <laughs> yes! Which move should be forgotten? God damn it, I need all of these! I. Oh, I have to be the one with the best utility. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Critical Session, that's a cool band name, man. Joe Beavins grew to level 24, and I defeated Ass. You're too rough! Bow wow! I don't know. Alright, well that was one... Oh, hello. She's she short-sighted, she is. <laughs> I was getting bored, but now I'm ready to pounce. Arr. I don't know why all of them roll their R's. I guess <laughs> this gym was built by Eartha Kitt. <laughs> Beauty sent out Oddish! Stevie doesn't want to be poisoned. Don't poison Stevie! Not even a little bit! Well, Stunning Stevie is okay. It also sounds like alliteration. Stunning Stevie Austin. Ah. More critical hits. Oh, God damn it, Stevie! Come on! There you go. Stevie's like, I'm full of paralyzed! I can't move! I don't know why I can. <laughs> I was just being dramatic. I wanted some attention. Lord knows I don't get as much attention as Chow Bella. Everyone's favorite, Chow Bella. Stevie is slowly morphing into like a southern version of Mickey Mouse. Uh, yeah, I think Stevie's not exactly taking a whole lot of damage here, so she should be able to... Uh. No. No raps! No takedowns! Nothing! No fighting at all! Of any kind. Oh. Gen 1. Why do you fill me with misery? Gen 1. Gen 1. Jesus. This is some rap. <laughs> this is a rap of a uh, great effect. There we go. All right, uh, that's enough um, <laughs> Stevie shenanigans. We really don't want her to die. Uh, quick attack, all right. No more tackle, just quick attack. What about quick attackle? <laughs> I have a quick attackle! And a duck goes quackle! All right, I'm done. Ooh, actually, Dugs, I wanna try something here. I may well regret this, but I want to have all kinds of variety in this video, so let's dig, dodge some stun spores, and then obliterate Oddish, who is partially, well, apparently fully weak to uh, ground types. I guess grass doesn't have its um, resistance to it yet. I don't know. I don't really know Gen 1 mechanics. All I know is that poison is weak to bug, and that just freaks me out. I was going to say bugs me out, but that sounded too intentional. I think we're looking pretty spectacular here, guys. I am pretty stoked. Just call me a fire, because I am stoked. My makeup! You've ruined it! Hiss! That's right. I spat everywhere. And I kind of became rottenness. Whoa! Jesus! There's like a gallery of them here! Welcome to Celadon Gym! You better not underestimate girl power! Would you like to come to the feminist rally? I would. <laughs> but um, now that I've seen you got that whip, I don't think I do. Cool trainer or fool trainer? Oh shit, Stevie, <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot you were a thing. All right. Apparently we're bait and switching now with Stevie. Uh, maybe we can bait and switch with Poot. Uh, fuck it, Joe Beavins. Man up. Man up. Man up. Man up and go to sleep. All right, how does Joe Beavins hack? Oh, rap, of course. Joe Beavins, what's your opinion on rap? And <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's fair enough. I feel that way about rap too, actually. Not trying to be abrasive, but... So I'm just being stricken with two of the worst mechanics in Gen 1, the rap mechanics and the sleep mechanics. All in the one nice little package. So one might say that Weepin' Bell is a dick. <laughs> what amazing things to say. One- Oh, come on, man! Come on! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Joe Beavins can't move! He's paralyzed! He's occasionally napping on the job- Oh, for fuck's sake! What in the fuck is with this fucking bottle? This is... An utter pain in mine testicles. 
Mine testicles are in pain. Becoming well, Mary Magdalene. <laughs> oh my god! Get off of me! Oh. I became, in, <laughs> I became James from Team Rocket. <laughs> Go get him, Growly. Go get him, Growly. Don't you dare. <laughs> How about we cut? <laughs> that would be a part where Body Slam would normally come into it, but no. No. Just no. Oh, there's more of them. Gloom? About to face your doom, Madam Gloom. I've always wondered, it's a bit odd that the name of Gloom is just Gloom, you know? It's not like Gloom Baller or some sort of other, like, pun. I don't know what the Bala is in the pun form, but yeah, it's just, just Gloom, just misery. Your name is unhappiness. Ooh, we are... We are playing some games here with Doug's as his lively livelihood. But that's okay, as long as he's faster, and as long as they don't fight back. <laughs> that's the Doug strategy of winning battles. As long as you're faster, as long as they don't fight back. Alright, here- What the hell? That bush just came out of nowhere! It's like I'm fighting goddamn Poison Ivy here. As in the Batman villain, not just like- <laughs> I'm not just actually fighting plants. Although, effectively, I am. There you go. What do you know? Alright, Poot. Gonna do a little bit of cuttiness. Oh. I just realized that the, the gym dude isn't here. I mean, I know he can't enter because he's got a wang, but you'd at least think he'd be hanging around outside, although I guess that would be creepy. Alright, there you go. We're learning new things. Gym buddy, not be creepy. That's right, he's my gym buddy. We work out together, we like to sweat together, we rub lotion on each other's backs, and occasionally we even go to the gym. Right. Right, 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 right. WRONG! Okay, we'll need your Pokémon! Thank you, your Pokémon are fighting fit! You know, as a medical professional, I can't recommend fighting them, but THANK YOU! <laughs> then he gets on his bicycle. Every frantic thing that Tybalt does is amplified when he just goes hooning around on a bike. While wielding knives and, um... Hootie and the Blowfish LPs. <laughs> on cassette tape! Yeah, Tybalt. You wacky fella. Alrighty. I guess it kind of ruin, ruins the drama a little bit when I go and recover before fighting the gym leader, but, you know. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh, dear. I must have dozed off. Welcome! My name is Erica. I'm the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. Ikebana, motherfucker! My Pokémon all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Ah. <laughs> the Erica wants to fight! And she's got a bell of victory! God damn, it's a good thing Doug's wasn't out here. I feel like he would cop something real bad. Alright, double team! We're fast, we're fast, we're really, really fast! Ooh, good thing too, because that's not a kind of move that Stevie wants to be dealing with. I'm gonna quick attack first, because... Oh, hello! <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty beefy, buffy victory bell. Uh-huh. Hmm, I don't like the looks of this. I really don't like the looks of this. Don't hit me really hard. Mm -mm. Okay, you know what? Combined with the poison of the floor, we're gonna get you out of there, Stevie. <laughs> we are... This is gonna be an intense gym battle, I reckon, which is... Good, because the last ones have been fairly one-sided. Okay, how about a cut? All right, that's that's okay. Aha! <laughs> Borked Gen 1 AI! It's like poison powder! More poison powder! Most poison powder! I'm gonna run out of cuts here. Isn't it funny I was lamenting cut, and yet now it's suddenly become my most useful move, and by that I mean my only useful move. God, she really wants me poisoned, doesn't she? Does she not see that Poot is loaded with poison, like he drools poison on the pillow when he's sleeping? 
Tangela, Tangela, Tangelo. Time for Joe Beavins. This would have been a good time to have a poison type because I forgot that uh, Tangela, the only legitimate grass type Pokemon in Gen 1. There's a nice beam for you! <laughs> well, that was short lived. Now we're gonna do our usual thing, wherein um, Poot is the only one who gets to have all the glory. Did you notice we had this tradition so far where Poot does all the last battle? I hope so. I've been trying to build my brand here. I wonder what Razor Leaf will do. Will do anything of any notoriety. Ah, okay. You're tough, Nuptup! gonna chip away, really. <laughs> I thought this battle was gonna be something shocking, but no. <laughs> no, the only shocking thing here is, um, the, I, the, the idea that, um, Erica is malicious enough to want everyone to be poisoned. <laughs> I don't want to beat you. I want you dead. I want you really dead. Timbal defeated Erica! Oh, I concede defeat! You are remarkably strong, I must confound you with a rainbow badge. I forgot to roll my R's up to this point. The rainbow badge will make Pokémon up to level 50 of A. It also allows Pokémon to use STRENGTH in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM21! What would that be? It contains Mega Drain. Half the damage in your is Drain to heal your Pokémon. You're cataloging Pokemon, I must say, I'm impressed I would never collect Pokemon if they were unattractive. I don't remember Erica being this shallow. Anyhow, that is another episode down, dusted, another badge upon my nipple, and another challenge overcome by AI issues. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you next time as we fight the scoring goals!